Hi there, it's Henry here from EWI Store, coming at you from outside of our warehouse on a very sunny day in February, um, which is fairly unusual, but we've had cracking weather so far, which has meant that a lot of people have started on their external jobs, um, which, is, uh, which has been great. Uh, what we're doing today, we are in fact telling you about the new product in our range. So we have Kingspan K5 boards here, uh, which we've been running tests on with our system for the past eight months. And uh, delighted to say that it's actually been, been really good and really positive. Um, but because we've brought it out now and introduced it into our range, we're just gonna give you a few tips um, for you installers out there. Uh, just because it, there are some subtle changes um, co when compared to the, the typical kind of insulation that has been used with our system over the past few years, uh, which is the graphite EPS. So the main, the main difference, uh, the primary kind of difference here is that when you're sticking the boards to the wall, whereas on the EPS, if you had a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of uh, an uneven wall, for example, and you, you, you used adhesive and stuck the boards onto the wall and you had a bit of an overlap or it wasn't perfectly flat uh, and not flush to each other, you could just rasp down those boards, get a nice even surface after installing them um, and then having a nice uh, level base coat. With the Kingspan K5, it's slightly different. The buildup of these boards is you have a, a glass pipe paper, basically a glass paper um, outer layer uh, with some rigid foam insulation in the middle. And because of that, it's important that you never rasp these boards. And because you can't rasp them, it's important to get them very flat and it's imperative to get them really dead flat and level with each other. So what you need to do is you need to be really careful of how you're putting the adhesive on the back of the boards. The best thing to do is make sure you always have a very long spirit level just to make sure that every time you're putting a board on the wall and you know you should really kind of notch trial the whole back of the board here to get a nice even coverage and then when you're applying it onto the wall you just get that spirit level make sure that all of them are very level and that there's no kind of discrepancy between uh, between the boards because as i said you can't rasp them down um, a lot of installers if they do have you know, kind of uh, bits and pieces that are sticking out, tend to use a bit more base coat just to level it all off. But that in fact does weaken the system. So again, it's imperative to try and keep that base coat to a kind of five, six millimeter, um, you know, max thickness there. And in doing so, you have to make sure that the adhesive behind the boards makes, you know, gives you a nice flat surface. Other than that, we've done the tests, we've, uh, used various different adhesives and base coats with it just to see what works and what doesn't. And it's really important to use the EWI 225 premium adhesive, premium base coat, um, to both stick the boards onto the wall and to use as a base coat. So we've got a block here, which has the um, EWI 225 premium base coat with mesh embedded there. And that is absolutely rock solid. That is not coming off at all. One thing that we have seen, if you leave the Kingspan K5 boards out in the rain for a long time, and we've actually submerged a block for, uh, it was about a month, um, that you do start to see that this fiberglass paper um, can, well, a little bit easier to, to remove um, when wet. So it's important that when you do install it, that A, you, you do your best to cover it up if you have periods of, of rain coming, um, but it's also important to try and get that 225 base coat layer and mesh onto it as soon as possible, get it nice and level, then you can have a little bit of a breather because that 225 is then a waterproof layer. But other than that, great performance. Um, the thermal conductivity of this is, is of the K5 is, is better than the graphite EPS. So instead of needing about 90 millimeters of the graphite EPS to reach a 0.3U value when retrofitting a solid brick property, you'd only need about 60 millimeters of this. So really important and really good to use if you're fighting for you know, every millimeter um, and maybe it's an alleyway, you've got restrictions, that sort of thing. So uh, much better at uh, insulating. Uh, the only downside is that it's slightly more expensive. So you're probably talking, um, you know, about twice the price, but uh, get in touch with us and we'll, we'll let you know. But yeah, a bit more expensive just because of the increased thermal performance of it um, and just a bit more to it really. 
So there it is, um, the Kingspan K5, new to the range of EWI store, but uh, get in touch if you've got any questions um, or you want prices or anything like that, and one of our reps can, uh, can help you out. So thanks for tuning in.